What is a condensation reaction? Which is a commonly assessed process that you need to apply time and time again during your A-level biology course. So here are my diagrams of some generalized monomers, each with a free hydroxyl OH group at each end. Now, we're going to join together two of these monomers to begin with, and as we do so, we will remove a molecule of water. And as we can see on this first monomer here, we can take a hydrogen, and on the adjacent monomer, we can take a hydroxyl group, giving us H2O, that water molecule that is removed as we now join these two monomers together. And as we can see here, the monomers have joined together, resulting in the formation of a covalent bond that links them together. Let's continue by adding another monomer here, and we can see the hydroxyl group and the hydrogen. This will give us our water molecule once more, so we can take that hydrogen, and we can take the hydroxyl, and again, we have the formation of a covalent bond. Now, these condensation reactions take place until a long, complex molecule, i.e. the polymer, is formed. 